Good evening and welcome to the 122nd Annual Exhibition by Indiana and Ohio Artist Award Ceremony. I would like to thank our sponsors for the 122nd Annual Exhibition. It is through their generosity that we are able to hold this exhibition. Thank you to U.S. Bank, Reed Health, Three Rivers Federal Credit Union, Indiana University East, and Natco Credit Union. This is Indiana's oldest juried competition. We would also like to express our gratitude to the businesses and individuals who have helped to provide $25,000 in purchase and merit awards, making it one of the highest monetary award contests in the state. I would also like to thank our juror, Jim Ross from Indianapolis. It is a difficult task to jury exhibitions especially one as large as the RAM Annual. It is my pleasure to introduce Jim and hear his comments about the exhibition. Thank you. I'm Jim Ross. I'm the owner of Eckerd and Ross Fine Art Gallery in Indianapolis and graduate of Heron School of Art in Indianapolis. So got uh, 20 plus years in uh, the art gallery business. And before that, I was a graphic designer and just a fan of art and art history. So that's uh, a lot of my background. I've done a little bit of painting myself too. So uh, enough to give me an appreciation and I think an understanding of the technical things, but I'm not driven to do it, but myself, but it makes, I think it gives me a deeper appreciation for what artists do. And I, I'd like to say, I always thank the artists for entering these kind of shows and sticking their neck out because it's your, I know that you're putting you know, your artwork's an extension of, of your own personality and your own being. And uh, it takes some guts and some nerve to stick your neck out there like that. So I appreciate the artist. Some of the that. criteria that I look for in artwork is um, I, I want the painting to communicate to me what the artist had in mind. I, I often say a point of view. I want that to come through the painting and, and be strong. So. Um, there were many works in the show that had that, and, and uh, I was really excited to see the variety um, between abstract, 3D, traditional things. So I, I found some great things in, in all those kind of categories, so that was uh, fun for me. Um, and, you know, a, a judge has their personal taste, too, so some of that came into play. Um, but I personally like all kinds of artwork, uh, traditional, abstract, and... So I found a lot to like, um, but yeah, some things just really spoke powerfully to me and uh, a lot of the things were of the, this time too, which I think is important in contemporary art. So uh, that was exciting to see, um, but yeah, there were, um, I always look for technical skill, um, but you know, emotion and like I said, an artist's point of view or strength of opinion, um, that they that the artist knew what they wanted to do and that comes through that 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 carries a lot of weight with me so I wanted to thank and congratulate the Richmond Art Museum for putting on the show and keeping the tradition of it going um, I think it's a great service to artists it gets them in front of the buying public uh, gives them a professional experience and um, you know, they can compare themselves to their peers, but this is an excellent show. And uh, it does compare favorably to other traditional uh, shows in Indiana, like the Hoosier Salon and Indiana Heritage Arts. And um, I've talked to other artists from out of the area and they're jealous of Indiana and the rich tradition that we have that it is still alive today, both in, with practicing artists and then these kind of shows. And I'm, I'm involved with the Indiana Heritage Arts show. And um, I can tell you that the people that put these shows on, I, they you know they do it for it's a labor of love, but it's it's fun to work with the artists and and help and support the artists and those of us that are art fans are are glad to do it and are privileged to do it. So I congratulate the Richmond Art Museum for keeping this tradition alive, and it's this is a great show. It is now time to present the awards for the 122nd annual exhibition by Indiana and Ohio artists. We always like to look back to who the winner was 100 years ago. In the 1920 exhibit, artist Francis Fosher Brown won the top award 
the Mary T. R. Folk Purchase Prize Award for his painting The Clouds, which is still in the Ram Permanent Collection. Now we present a unique purchase award. Since 2004, Barry and Bonnie Johnston have provided purchase funds for the museum to acquire artworks for the permanent collection. This year, the Richmond Art Museum Purchase Award for the Permanent Collection goes to Kyle Ragsdale for Zephyr. Now we present the Amateur Awards. The Richmond Art Museum Merit Award in the amount of $100 goes to Ben R. Johnson for Stool. The Walt and Rabin Beisline Merit Award for Photography in the amount of $100 goes to Morgan Day for Untitled. The Psi Iota Xi Sorority Alpha Iota Chapter Merit Award in the amount of $100 goes to Joyce Hughes for Found on a Pumpkin. The Judy Wojcik and Kenton Hall Merit Award in the amount of $100 goes to Nick May for Delilah Drawing. The Annabelle Hinthorne Memorial Merit Award in the amount of $200 goes to Shirley Wise for Suteki. The Donna Spears Merit Award in the amount of $200 goes to Kathy Bird for Laundromat. And the W. Ray Stevens Jr. Memorial Merit Award in the amount of $250 provided by Richard and Sherry Mendenhall goes to Avery Pollard for Self-Portrait with Mirrors. Now we move to the Purchase Awards. The Three Rivers Federal Credit Union Purchase Award goes to Wendy Franklin for Lonely Crowded City. The Tom and Cheryl Alberts Purchase Award goes to Bruce Allen Neville for Changing Variations. The Kurt A. Barker Purchase Award goes to Bruce Allen Neville for The Essence of Light. An Allen and Carol Lakoff Brady Purchase Award goes to Brian Gordy for Eyes Down River. An Allen and Carol Lakoff Brady Purchase Award goes to Chris Griffin Woods for The Painter of Shallot. An Allen and Carol Lakoff Brady Purchase Award goes to Jason Knapp for The Coming Storm. An Allen and Carol Lakoff Brady Purchase Award goes to Mary Jane Keys for Fresh Produce. The Darlene Drewley Purchase Award goes to Mary Ellen Bertram for Gregory Peck. A Darlene Drewley Purchase Award goes to Diane Dover for I.O. Moth. A Darlene Drewley Purchase Award goes to Carol Lance for Red Barn. A Darlene Drewley Purchase Award goes to Martin Price for Raku Textured Vase. A Darlene Drewley Purchase Award goes to Steve Wohler for Country Fence. A Diane Ferlato Purchase Award goes to Sarah Rich Creek for Try Her. A Diane Ferlato Purchase Award goes to Bennett Ritchie for That's Joe. A First Bank Richmond Purchase Award goes to Mary Ann Davis for Sunflowers. 
A First Bank Richmond Purchase Award goes to Corinne Hull for Pine and Wildflowers. A First Bank Richmond Purchase Award goes to Marilyn Witt for Ah, It's Autumn. A Cory and Ginger Gray Purchase Award goes to Kurt Stanfield for Fleeting Moment. A Robin Henry Purchase Award goes to Nancy Nordlow Neville for The Heads. A Ply Purchase Award goes to David B. Johnson for Teddy and Joey. A Ply Purchase Award goes to Robin Nicholson for Sister's Trip. And now we present the awards for the Advance Division. A Robert and Carol Eberly Merit Award in memory of Larry Rudelek in the amount of $250 goes to Steve Wohler for Country Fence. A Don and Marilyn Rogers Merit Award in the amount of $250 goes to Rob Smith for Daria. A Dr. Arthur Millis Memorial Merit Award in the amount of $250 goes to Donna Short for The Smoke Daddy. A Judy Thornburg Memorial Merit Award in the amount of $250 goes to Wendy Franklin for Lonely Crowded City. A Dr. Dana Ryman and Dr. Eileen Cravens Merit Award in the amount of $500 goes to Alan Hutton for East Window. A John Hansberry and Carrie Book Merit Award in the amount of $500 goes to Jeannie McLeish for Devil's Punch Bowl. The IPAPA Traditional Landscape Merit Award in the amount of $500 goes to Justin Vining for Down by the Mushroom Patch. The Brad and Mary Ann Barrett Merit Award in the amount of $500 goes to Thomas A. Bartle for The Sid and Laura Kim Family. The Lucretia T. Carr Warren Chapman Memorial Award in the amount of $500 goes to Lyle G. Denny for Whitewater Valley September. The Richmond Art Museum Award of Excellence in the amount of $1,000 goes to Philip Erbaugh for Saxman. The Richmond Art Museum Award of Excellence in the amount of $1,000 goes to Roy Boswell for A Subtle Mood. The U.S. Bank Award of Excellence in the amount of $1,000 goes to Carol Strock Wasson for Last Light Number Four. And the Sarah and John Lecklider Best of Show Award in the amount of $2,500 goes to Joanne Burkhard for This Is Us.